So the most frequent question we get asked at Pillow is how much will my property make per night? Well, I'm going to answer this in a few ways. Firstly, the answer, how much will my property make per night? Well, there's actually 500 plus different answers to that. Why 500? Well, there's going to be a different price every single night of the year for your property. So we imagine, obviously, Christmas, New Year, Easter, summer holidays, Valentine's Day, these are going to attract a much higher price, a different price to a rainy January in the first week of January. When events are on, it's going to be more expensive. When there's something happening in your area, like it's the summer holidays, it's going to be much, much more expensive than off-peak. So your property managers, if you work with Pillow, are going to have a big price chart. We all have them size of that up in the wall printed out and they fill in the calendar for your area and they put in all the different events here at each cube we've got race events we've got bowling we've got different things happening so definitely the race course used to be a really popular time you could double your prices very easily and on the super premium weekend of the the Scottish Gold Cup or Scottish Grand National, you could treble your prices very, very easily. And we know that that weekend is the most expensive few days in the calendar for the whole year. But your property manager will have all that local knowledge. So there's a different price for every time of the year. That takes us to 365 different prices, but also the length of stay. So someone taking two days, it's going to be paying the maximum amount for your property, probably a Friday and a Saturday. But if someone's taking it for three months, well, the price is going to reflect that with a small deduction. So when your property manager is working with you to do the prices, they're going to chart them all out on the big price planner, but they're also going to be getting the best price possible for your property, negotiating with contractors, maybe two people sharing, maybe it's an executive let, maybe it's a doctor, university professor coming to the area. And they're probably not going to pay your high nightly rate across that six month letting. They're going to negotiate a monthly rate or a weekly rate with some form of discount to make it value and reflect the fact that they're taking a longer stay. So there's hundreds and hundreds of different prices. Also, these are dynamic. We had the lockdowns and COVID, so obviously that threw all the prices out, but sometimes new dates are announced for concerts or different things. That means the prices go up. Sometimes events get cancelled or change, prices go down. Sometimes your property will be doing fantastically well and we have a cycle to increase the prices as time goes on and becomes more popular. But also if your property isn't performing the way it should be, for whatever reason, we would look to reduce the prices. So your property manager is going to work with you if you're a managed client. So they're going to take care of all this. So don't stress too much about it. If you're going to do it yourself, then I've given you the framework of how to price your property. But ha very hard for us to answer how much are we going to make for your property if we haven't seen it. We don't know what standards you might have. It. We don't know how you're going to be as an owner in regards to the hospitality and the customer service side of keeping guests happy and rectifying things that perhaps go wrong with the property. So there's lots of factors here. Now, that big price planner we spoke about, we can't do that for people just over the phone who aren't going to use us. It takes a lot of time for the property managers to do this. So they will work with you if you're a fully managed client and help you with the prices. But you can do your own research and find out what's happening in your area at certain times of the year. And you can probably work out a very rough range. What is the peak? What's the maximum you can get? Look at the really amazing units in your area and look at the lower end units and you will be able to work out the range and then work out what the occupancy levels are. So lots of factors to take into consideration. The team probably can't answer that. We can give you a very specific, a very generic, sorry, answer to these things and say, well, in our experience, this might be the case. But if you really want to find out the exact price that we think we could get and therefore what you would make annually, because we don't really concentrate on price per night because it's going to change. When your property manager, if you conduct them to instruct them to do a feasibility study, they will do a full feasibility study with maximum range, minimum ranges, find out exactly what occupancy level we would expect based on historical evidence of what's happening at the moment. And they'll give you an exact range of figures for that. And say, we think your property could get £30,000 a year. So when you're using us to do the pricing and you conduct your property manager to do a feasibility study, they'll probably give you a range for an annual income rather than nightly rates. Because the nightly rates don't doesn't really matter because it's going to fluctuate. There's so many answers. It's all about the annual income. So I hope that helps.